says, before the Senate shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Good evening, Honorable Karen. Good evening. For record purposes, kindly repeat your name. Tell us what you do for a living and where you come from. My name is Karen Magara. I am a nominated uh, MCA in the Kisi County Assembly, representing special interest. So being a member of the County Assembly of Kisi, you are aware and familiar with the issue at hand, right? Yes. You are also the second in the, in the motion for impeachment of the, sec of the Deputy Governor, correct? Yes, Madam Speaker. Thank you. I want to cross-examine another to lead you on two issues. One is on the issue of public participation, and then briefly on your interaction with the witnesses in this matter. So on public participation, did you witness how public participation was conducted within Kisi County? Honorable S Madam Speaker, being a special elect, I had an opportunity not only to go to one ward, but to just do a sampling kind of exercise during the public participation. And indeed, it was a demonstration that what was going on, so many issues came up in that public participation. So I did witness the public participation on Madam Speaker. How did the public uh, submit their views? In what form? Was it written? Was it memoranda? How was how were their views collected and submitted? The public participation had various mode, uh, forms of uh, giving their views. One, by participation in a group. Others opted to take secret recording because they felt some of their issues were personal. Some wrote a memoranda to the assembly through the clerk. And this was being done on 26th of that, which was on man, Monday. Thank you. You've heard from the defense council alleged that some of those videos were cooked and that they were never uh, recorded at the venue of the public participation. What would you say about that? Madam Speaker, I want to emphasize the point that when we were at the public participation is being done, it may not necessarily find one person in the world. Remember, we have different divisions. People can, a public participation can be in Tabaka Ward, but the person from Tabaka Ward could be working in Nyamarambi, for example, which is in Wogetenga Ward. So where you, they were being found was where they were giving their views. It was not uh, restrained to the word that you come from. Thank you. Uh, the videos that were played today, did you have an occasion to witness any of those recordings being taken? Some of them, yes, I did, Madam Speaker. Can you point us to one of them that you had at the occasion of uh, being present when it was recorded? One of the, one that was very uh, touching was when I witnessed an old muse talking about uh, being told to sell a property of land worth 14 acres, and they had a transaction with the deputy, His Excellency the deputy governor, and that midway, me in the midway, the, uh, the transaction did not end well, and then the deputy governor was asking for a refund. Another one Proceed. was an old woman, and not really an old woman, but a woman who clearly demonstrated that she is selling, um, to, I mean, uh, she was selling, I think, uh, Motra. And she was asking, if I am selling Motra and uh, trying to educate my children, and when the children go through school, then the elder, the leaders are going to ask me for 800. Where am I going to raise the 800 from? That, Madam Speaker, touched me. You've also had an allegation tabled by the defense team that the governor was involved through the use of sub-county admin and ward admin in the public participation process. What would your answer be? 
That is absolutely not true. We have separation of powers. Hon Madam Speaker, you are aware that even when we have public participation for the budget appropriation, the executive does its public participation and the assembly also does its public participation. This particular public participation came, was originated from the assembly. Madam Speaker, there is no way that the executive could have been allowed to carry this public participation. So it is not true. And in instances where the event was to take place at the sub-county headquarters, isn't it natural that the sub-county admin would usher in uh, the guest? Is that the position? Yes, they could usher in because mostly sometimes when it is done, Madam Speaker, in the headquarters, sometimes we allow, they, they are told to arrange for the public participation. The arrangement is bring the chairs, allow us to use this facility, then when the public participation ends, that after they have organized where we have the public participation is, if it is for the assembly, their engagement ends there. Thank you. To my last limb of uh, this uh, questioning, did you have an opportunity to interact with the allegations in the uh, notice of motion for impeachment and conduct your own investigations on the allegations? And if so, what was the nature of your interaction with? Yes, Madam Speaker, I had an opportunity to engage and do my own investigations. This is after the Honorable Siocha requested me to do second the motion. And voluntarily, because I represent special interest, I decided first of all to familiarize myself with the issues. Is it true that what they are saying is correct? So I went ahead and uh, requested, requested the number of Dennis from Honorable Sioja. And I requested him to be in the company of the wife because I did not want to talk to Dennis alone. They made arrangements and we did meet in town. And they took me through the process of how they struggled to raise this money. And what pained me, Madam Speaker, is that the lady was expectant after struggling for 12 years. Madam Speaker, I'm a woman. I know sometimes what women go through, particularly when you cannot conceive and give children. And the, the lady sat, Nyaboke sat, narrating how they had even to separate shortly with the husband because she couldn't contain the whatever that she was going through. This gave me a motivation. And I thought to myself, being a woman, representing youth, representing people living with disability, I had to rise to the occasion. And I said, I am truly going to take it upon myself to second this motion. Whatever that Dennis went through with the wife, I am standing here as a woman. Madam Speaker, painfully explaining an MCA earns 86,000. And I ask myself, as MCAs were struggling to take our children to school, then somebody asked me to give 800,000. How long, Madam Speaker, will I save to give a bribe of 800,000? That, for me, touched me. Even when I was at contributing to this motion in the House, Honorable Madam Speaker, I said I don't want to talk about the law. I want to speak to the morals. Where is our society now, Honorable Madam Speaker? I earn 86,000. Somebody tells me to give 800,000. From where? That pained me, on Madam Speaker. And I did voluntarily walk. I want, promised to walk with them this journey that justice must be served to this Nyaboke, justice must be served to Dennis. 
That is my conviction, and that is why patiently I stand in this Senate, wanting to convince. What's your point of order, Senator Karungo? Madam Speaker, you know, it's late. It's almost um, 10 p.m. If the witness can stick to the issues, we did not come here for preaching and debate. We want to be directed to the issues as submitted. It's not a matter of emotions. We don't vote on emotions. We vote on facts. So can she uh, restrain herself to answering the questions? When it comes to preaching, we'll be ready. Uh, council, uh, council, on that point of order, I believe you have filed in documents and statements and affidavits from the witnesses. I am already ruling on the first point of order, and I have not finished. I would uh, request council to guide the witness so that we make the process very seamless and we confine ourselves. You confine the witness to the documents that have been produced before the Senate. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the guidance. I'm actually on my last question on the issue. I just allowed uh, the witness to give a true account of our own investigations and why she had to support the motion, motion for impeachment. On my last question, uh, honorable witness, were the allegations, the four allegations against the deputy governor of Kisi substantiated to warrant an impeachment? And that would be my last question. Yes, they were substantiated. Do they warrant an impeachment? Yes. Thank you. That would be all for this witness, Madam Speaker. Can I say something? On Just a uh, minute. Senator uh, Council Keegan. My colleague, Mr. Ochoki, will do the cross-examination. Thank you for the opportunity, Madam Speaker. Uh, Honorable Karen, I will just want to clarify a few things from you. And I will start <coughs> with um, whether you are aware of the advertisement that was made by the county assembly uh, which is at page 22 of volume one of the county assembly's documents are you aware of that Thanks. did you see it the newspaper advert in the standard of february 24th which page 2024 page 22 Yes. Uh, the, 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 the motion to have public participation was dealt with in the account, uh, county assembly on 21st of February. Is that correct? Yes, Madam Speaker. Uh, because my senior, Mr. Kato, will deal on the funds and all, could you be aware on uh, uh, who funded this advert or from where it was paid for? The assembly is supposed to pay for the advert. That has been the practice. In, Madam uh, thank you. In the advert, there are venues uh, that are listed in the advert. Have you seen it? Yes. Did you visit any of these venues? Yes, I did. Which one and which one did you visit? I went to Tabaka. Yes. Oh, uh, where the public participation, there was another one in Nyamarambe and another one in Kitutu. Okay. You very passionately raised the issue of public participation. Let me refer you to your contribution in the House on 29th of February this year. I believe, Honorable S Madam Speaker, same can be found in page 
page. Uh, let me just. Um, your contribution in the House, as I get it, uh, Madam uh, uh, Karen, uh, did you, uh, when you were contributing in uh, the motion, it's at page 158 of uh, volume 1 of the County Assembly's document, your, uh, your participation and your contribution, very emotional also because I was there. Uh, uh, look, look at your contribution that runs from page 158 to 160 of that county assembly uh, volume, that one. Yes. Okay. Is there, in your contribution at the county assembly, is there any mention of public participation except for reference that you met the boy, Dennis, and his wife? I didn't speak about it, but the report had already been submitted to the clerk. The question is, did you make reference to public participation? I did, because one of the participation I did was to see Dennis. But uh, uh, the participation that you talk about having gone everywhere, it's not in your contribution in the county assembly. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Why did you not bring out or raise that contribution in the county assembly? In the assembly, Honourable Madam Speaker, it, we were limited with the time of speaking. So you pick on the very important issues. But in the Senate, we are not limited for time. Anyway, I was asking you that because we have information that those clips were done after the session. Is that correct? Not true. Okay, thank you. Where did you meet uh, Dennis and his wife? I, m I invited them to come to town, Kisi town. Okay. You talk of uh, them having made a payment to the deputy governor? Yes. Okay, that is what they told you? Yes. Oh, thank you. Did they tell you when they sold the salon that you very passionately refer to in your affidavit and the statement? Yes. Are you... Madam Speaker, the salon was sold somewhere in April. Okay. Are and... you aware that as at the time when the salon was sold, the advert had not, the, the Dennis had not applied for the job? I, I have, I've not been able to con reconcile the two. Okay. Madam Speaker. You tell the House that uh, Dennis' wife had 12 years of unsuccessful trials to get pregnant? The second born, yes, Madam Speaker. Have you brought to the Senate any document of that problem? Any medical document? No. Thank you. You claim or say that she is suffering from serious depression. Have you brought any medical document to the Senate? No. Let me refer you to the voting and allow me, uh, Madam S Speaker, refer to the witness to page 158 of uh, the DG. 158 of uh, the document titled DG. T take a look at uh, that Honorable Karen. Um, in, uh, in that page, page 158, confirm that uh, that particular document there, it is your vote at the county assembly. And alongside it is your staff ID, I believe. Yes, it's mine. Okay. Is it correct that this photo was sent to the real force or the real sponsor of the motion to impeach the DG to confirm that indeed you voted to impeach the deputy governor? No, not true. Why were you taking this photo? This is for, for my own record, Madam Speaker. And I don't think there is a law that stops me from... Thank you. Look at... Uh, um, Madam Speaker, I'm referring the witness to page 158 to one. 61 of the DG's bundle co confirm that uh, that those other uh, documents annexed there too are 
votes and IDs of other members of county assembly. Others are not clear. Madam Speaker, I've only been able to identify mine. Uh, Madam Karen, if you look at page 159, that is a vote. Do you have a member of county assembly known as Honorable Jim Kenyanya? In the Kisi County Assembly? Yes. That is his vote at page 159. Page 160, do you have a member of county assembly known as Peter Mokua Okerio? His name is there, and ID. I can't see anything here, Madam Speaker. Nothing. It's plain. Oh, post. Yes. Madam yes, Speaker, Madam apologies. Speaker. I believe the copy shared didn't have the... Look at that page. Yes. Confirm that all those other pages show votes and IDs of all your colleagues. Yes. Okay. Madam Speaker. Is it not true that uh, the members of county assembly voted under duress because they were compelled to show their master, their sponsor, how they voted? Not true. What is your explanation for the other members that also took photos alongside their I their, cannot their be able to, I, Madam Speaker, I may not be able to answer for other members. I only take answer for my vote and Thank a photo. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Does the DG have a kitty for bursary? No. Are you aware of the provisions of the Kisi County Bursary Fund Act of 2014? Yes. Does the deputy governor have any influence with regard to who is awarded bursaries? No. Why then could you rely on public participation of, and ordinarily, just for record, are you aware of anyone that has been given a bursary of more than 5,000 shillings in Kisi County? Yes. How much has that sum been? Ten, I can confirm that depending on the need of the children, some get 10,000. That I can confirm because I can even give the name if allowed. Thank you. Could it be in order then for someone to say that he paid 12,000 to be given a bursary of 10,000? Did you believe that? Is that the public participation that led you to impeach the deputy governor or vote and second the motion? Madam Speaker, I may not be able to answer for His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, whether he receives money, but those who are witnesses or people are testifying. So it is not my, within my need to answer on behalf of him. But uh, even as you sit here or stand here, it's not logical for someone to bribe 12,000 to get 10,000. Does that add up, Honorable Karen? It happens. I have, okay. I, I, I have uh, Madam Speaker, I can say, uh, that they have even conversations even in other uh, 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 counties and uh, there was a conversation which is not it's authentic okay, so i cannot be able to answer out. that it's okay mm, it's okay you. my colleague kato will take you through one or two questions but let me just uh, seek your answer to this because i know you are one of those serious supporters of his excellency the governor yes you will agree with me that uh, most of the people that do not agree with the governor are either uh, interdicted, sacked, or impeached like the deputy governor. Is that correct? That is not correct, Madam Speaker. To the best of your knowledge, there are a lot of uh, disputes with regard to governance. Are you aware that the deputy governor was uh, disagreed with the governor on small issues about governance? Small issues, Honorable Madam Speaker, they should be able to sort out. That's why they are leaders. For example, let me just ask you so that you say yes or no. Are you aware that there was a disagreement about how the governor runs uh, the county from his home at Motonto? Not true. Are you aware of the alterations in the budget? Not true. I sit in the budget committee. Not true. Are you aware that uh, the EACC is investigating alterations made to the, uh, on the budget? Yes, I know there is a, a, a letter from the COB, but I don't think these are just concerns that come from the COB, which is normal. Thank you, Honorable Madam Speaker. I believe we have three or four minutes. Allow my senior Katwak again kindly ask a question or two. Mm. 
hands to Katwa Kigen. I think you are winding down your five yes, minutes. Yes, I will be very brief, uh, Madam Speaker. I very kindly request you. Uh, good evening, uh, Madam Karen. Good evening, Council. Yes. Now, um, I would like to request you to go to page 21 of uh, the County Assembly Volume 1 Bundle, page 21, 24, page 24, sorry. Now, your testimony, as you are being led by my learned friend, was basically that you come here to endorse the propriety and the results of the public participation, isn't it? Your point is that proper public participation was done and there's a proper uh, feedback from it, isn't it? That's yes, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Page 24 to 51, could you confirm that page 24 to 51 is that public participation report? No, the document is a bit mixed up. There is public participation. There are other things. Okay, if you could go to page 24. Are you at page 24, please? Yes. Can you see the heading of all the contents of page 24 to 51? It says, third assembly, third session. Report of public, public views on the removal of removal from office of the deputy governor of Kisi County government by way of impeachment. You can see that? Yes, Madam Speaker. And then it runs from page, that page 24 to 51. Yes, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Now, uh, just the two sets of questions on that. Could you confirm that that report is not signed anywhere? There's nobody who has taken responsibility for that report. The 24 page. Eh? Yes. Madam Speaker, somebody has signed. There is a, 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 a receipt. So somebody and there is has a signed. Yeah, page I have 24. the report, isn't it? Yes. Now, that is the person receiving. Has anybody signed saying that I, I am the one who compiled this report? No, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Number two. From that page 24 to 51, there is no reference anywhere to, the, to a video of, of any video, isn't it? And so, Kigen, that should be your final question. Wind up on that question. Let her answer you. Your time is up. I, just one more, Madam one Speaker. Question. Just one yes. more after this one, kindly. No, nobody has... Uh, there is no reference to a video, isn't it? No reference, Madam Thank Speaker. Now, I would like to take you to page 103. That would be my last question. Page 103 of that bundle. You got it? Yes. Okay. I want you to read the last paragraph. Does it say this? Honorable Henry Moracha, leader of majority, rose to on standing order number 93 and sought an adjournment for purposes of public participation. You can see that? Yes, Honorable that Speak Madam Speaker. That's correct. Yes. Could you confirm that when you rose, when you adjourned for purposes of going for public participation, you did not provide for funds to do this public participation? Could you confirm that? I. You want me to explain because I cannot say yes or no. Explain. I just um, want you to say. No. You did no, not. No, Madam Speaker. Yes. Thank you very much. Number two, you did not determine who was to collect public views. You did not create a committee or say what administrators or MCS are to collect views. You did not assign anybody that business of collecting views, did you? No, Madam Thank Speaker. Thank you very much. And um, I, I will leave it there, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much for the accommodation and the.